And I also wanted to kind of see uh, the difference in quality for each one. And uh, this is a Casio uh, TV-430 color uh, TV on TV portable. So, uh, Hi, and welcome to Joel's DIY. Uh, today, I will be sharing out my TV station setup. As you can see, I have all these portable TVs uh, getting a signal an analog signal and I have my own little setup here okay and that's going through that antenna there so I'll be talking about how I I created this and put put it all together okay so for most you're gonna need one of these bad boys this is a digital full band modulator uh, I got this on eBay uh, directly from China. Uh, at the time that I bought this, it was about 22 bucks. Um, but it ranges, sometimes they're about 30, sometimes they're about uh, 40 bucks. It just depends on uh, the seller. Um, so that's the thing that you need first. Um, and then moving on to that, you're gonna need some ampli amplifiers. So. The TV analog signal can be amplified. You, these usually you can hook them up to your uh, antenna to get digital uh, and it'll uh, help the reception. Uh, I want to talk about this, uh, this part here in particular because this is probably the part that cost me the most time to try to figure out how to get a cleaner signal. So I will go into detail on those. But these are just basically, let me see if I can zoom it in. So those are basically just RCA uh, amplifier boxes that uh, came with the antenna. And I have uh, three of them set up in series. Okay. And then that's hooked up to the antenna right there. And it's hooked up to, to the uh, output for the box which is right there okay so uh, let me show you uh, the setup uh, or the diagram for how to wire everything uh, so I've listed all the components you're gonna need you're gonna definitely need uh, one antenna uh, the bunny ears have worked pretty well for me uh, so this is the one that I use uh, you're definitely going to need your three amplifiers. You're going to need the modulator uh, that you can order from eBay. And then you're going to need something that gives out a composite signal. Now, it could be anything. I just decided to put uh, a Sony DVD VCR combo because that usually has a composite output. But just anything with a composite output can be used uh, for this. All right, so here's, here's how it's set up. So you take your antenna and you're gonna wire it up to all three of these amplifiers, okay? Uh, notice that I've listed which is the correct side to use uh, because they, they have two sides. Uh, my uh, modulator, or my amplifier actually, sorry, uh, came with a hardwired uh, cable. So that is to the TV uh, input. So what you wanna do is uh, you're gonna wire the TV side over to this antenna right here. So basically, let's see if I can just. So basically, from there to there, okay. And then uh, this is basically uh, usually only has like one uh, output, uh, so you're gonna wire that to this one, and then these three you're gonna wire in series. So basically. The antenna side is gonna be plugged into the TV side on for this amplifier, and then you're gonna get this antenna side over to this TV amplifier, okay? 
and then you're going to wire the last antenna side over to the output side which would be right here okay now my amplifiers have a hard wild hard wired power supply okay if you were to buy three of these they're each going to come with their own power supply sometimes you can just get away with just the ones that have that USB one, but I've never tried to use those and I don't know how good they might work. So I've just used uh, the more expensive uh, amplifiers that come with their own power supply. So what I've, the way I've done it is, I've uh, cut this one off. So this one's neutralized. So I'm just gonna put, uh, no power. And I'm not sure if this works for everything, but this is how I have mine set up. So the middle amplifier that I have hooked up in series has no power, okay? And then what I've done is I've gotten, I've cut off the power supply cable from here and here. And what I've done is I've merged them together. So now this is powered by this power supply and this is powered by the same power supply there, okay? And as I mentioned before, let me zoom this in just a second. I don't know how well you can see that, you probably can't because it's a little bit blurred. But this is, this should be, uh, let me write it down. That should be a 12 volt, 100, milliamp power supply so that right there should be what you have okay so let me zoom out a little bit so you're gonna cut this cable you're gonna cut this cable and then you're gonna merge them together wire them together make sure you have the polarity correct because you might, uh, if you don't have the polarity correct, uh, you might burn the power supply or uh, you might uh, damage your equipment. So uh, I would suggest uh, you you figure out uh, which side is the correct side when you merge the cables together. But once you are able to figure that out, um, you can wire this together to the power supply. And then you basically are done. Um, the last step is basically to wire a composite. So you're going to need the red, your red, uh, your white, and your yellow. So those cables are going to get wired up from here. So that is the yellow, that is the red. And that is the white. So those cables are going to get wired in from whatever composite device you're going to use. Okay. Uh, again, I, I can't stress enough how important it is to make sure you get your power supply correct uh, because uh, you might short your whole thing if you get the polarity wrong when you rewire this. Uh, what I suggest is that uh, these particular uh, amplifiers uh, on the cable there's uh, there's two cables attached together one cable is uh, has like a white stripe on it the other one is uh, uh, just black so make sure that you just stick to that and when you're wiring this together uh, but just make sure that you have the that way you can have the polarity correct and then when you wire them together you should be having this uh, power supply power this one and this one and remember, this one has no power. At least that's how I have it wired in on my system. This one has no power. So basically, that's the setup, okay? Um, like I mentioned before, you're going to have to toggle with these switches here. Let me see if I can zoom it in. You're going to have to toggle with these channel switches here until you find the right channel with the best frequency. It took me some time. And also, you, uh, there's a point temp there's a there's a pot here that uh, you, where you can adjust the amplification. I turned that all the way up. I turned it all the way up so that I can get the strongest possible signal. 
Uh, these other ones I really didn't mess with, but this is basically like the sound and the and the color I think or something like that. Uh, but definitely change the channel until you find the best the channel that's going to give you the best reception. But as you can see, that's basically the setup. Um, and also, and I'm sorry if I didn't mention this before, but you're also going to need some coaxial cables. You're going to need a cable that goes from there to there. Uh, you're going to need a cable that goes from there to there. Uh, you might have an antenna that already has that cable hardwired, which is fine. You could just wire it there. Uh, but you're definitely going to need a uh, cable so that you can uh, put the, all of this in series. So it's taking me some time to figure out how to get a cleaner signal because when I first started this, uh, I was getting a really bad signal, a lot of interference, and it took me some time to figure out what exactly the problem was. Okay, so the first thing that I would recommend if you wanna do a setup like this is uh, make sure that uh, if you're powering these amplifiers that your voltage should be 12 volts and uh, no higher than 100 uh, mini amps. Um, and the reason I say this is because if you put too much voltage into these amplifiers, your signal will get all, will get very uh, interfere. Will, will get a lot of interference. So you don't want to do that. Uh, so what I did to re remediate that, because if you notice, these two amplifier boxes have a hardwired cable, and that cable has a power supply that's about. 12 volts and 100 uh, milliamps. So what I did was uh, I cut the wires uh, to one of the amplifiers and I ended up wiring it up to just one output or one, sorry, one power supply. So if I can just show this. So here's my power supply. And you, like I said, it's 12 volts, 100 milliamps. So what I did is I wired both uh, amplifiers together so that I could only get uh, one uh, sing one uh, so I can get uh, one output from the power supply to hit both amplifiers and that significantly cleaned up my signal and then there's one little amplifier that I have in the middle it's kind of like a no brand uh, Radio Shack amplifier from an old antenna that I used to have and that helped uh, clean up the signal as well or make it at least more powerful, less interference. So my recommendation is you definitely need like at least three of these amplifiers hooked up in series uh, to uh, be able to manage that all together. So that is my recommendation. Now, how I have YouTube hooked up, okay, it's very easy. I have this, uh, this chrome uh, stick uh, hooked up to this, uh, uh, HDMI to AV uh, converter and that's hooked up to this and I have this hooked up to my Google Home and I can um, play YouTube, play Netflix, play whatever through the stick onto these TVs and I can watch whatever I want to watch. So that's actually kind of like a nice thing. Um, I, I've been enjoying this because now I can give use to my little portable TVs. Um, I have even watched a few movies on them so it's it's a kind of like a fun thing to have in your home uh, if you want that uh, the signal is powerful enough to transmit to the TVs that I have inside my home like my my more modern LCDs uh, which is kind of cool uh, the signal is not very clean uh, because I think this signal just only looks good on old uh, analog TVs so uh, one recommendation I would make is uh, and this is another thing that that took me a long time to figure out. Uh, all these TVs are set up to channel 10. You really have to have to take time to, to kind of go through the channels on this device to find the best signal. Uh, I was trying out a few different channels and I finally figured out that channel 10 was the one that was gonna give me the best reception. If you choose a channel uh, randomly, it might not work as cleanly. Uh, so I would definitely recommend uh, a modulator that can go to different to several different channels until you find the channel that is best going to give you the best reception because uh, there are times where uh, it'll take some time because you have to go through many channels I got lucky I only had to go up to channel 10 to figure it out 
but I started from one all the way up to 10 and uh, I worked my way up to 13 and 13 wasn't as clean as 12 and 12 wasn't as clean as 11 and I finally settled on 10 so definitely go through your channels to make sure that you get the best reception so I hope you enjoyed my video uh, this is really kind of a fun project to have at your home it definitely makes uh, portable TVs useful again since now they can get some type of analog signal so I also wanted to take time to thank my new subscribers uh, thank you for giving me a chance uh, to to you know to get more views on my channel and uh, I definitely hope that this video was helpful and interesting um, have a wonderful weekend and I hope to see you soon take care